Hi everyone, I'm Rinsey and this is Rinsey Reads. Today I'm going to be doing my June wrap up and my June book haul. In terms of videos I made this month, the first video that I did was my unboxing video from the Book Riot quarterly box. This quarter's theme was breaking out of your comfort zone, I believe, so there are a lot of things in there that I probably wouldn't have picked up by myself, but I'm really glad that I received. Then I did a video talking about disclosure on YouTube and just sort of media in general and what's required. If you accept books for a review from publishers or anything like that, I highly recommend checking out that video because I think it's really important to know what exactly you do need to do with those types of relationships. There's nothing wrong with, you know, accepting books for review or anything like that. It's just about being clear with your audience about what the relationship is. And then last week I did the Big Book Phobia tag, which a lot of you guys really enjoyed, which I wasn't expecting necessarily. I always feel weird because I always do tags really, really late because I'm just so bad at doing them on time. But you guys really enjoyed that one. so. Thanks so much for all the great comments on that video. Then for book reviews, I did a review on Parnassus on Wheels by Christopher Morley, which was a short little novella I read during the Bout of Books readathon in May. I really enjoyed that novella. I highly recommend checking that out if you are interested in that. Then I did a review on the Book of Unknown Americans by Christina Henriquez. That book was just so good. I absolutely enjoyed it. Four stars out of five. I definitely recommend that book if you're someone who just likes general fiction stories. And it's also a really great immigrant story if that's something that you're interested in. And then last week I did a review on the storied life of AJ Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. It was my first book that I've ever read by Gabrielle Zevin, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was really cute and really sweet. It's not necessarily the best book I've ever read, but it was just like really enjoyable and nice and comforting. And it's definitely a book that you should check out if you like books about books. Then in terms of other books I read this month, I read Behind the Beautiful Forevers by Catherine Boo. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. I thought it was just okay. I think my expectations were way too high for this book because I thought it was gonna like blow me away and it didn't. I read this for the Nerdfighter book club and so I thought it was okay. I mean it's just like one glimpse into Indian society, especially like slums and lower classes and things like that. And I think I just know too much about that so like nothing in here was really like super shocking or revealing or eye-opening for me because I'm already aware of that world so I feel like if you aren't aware of that world this might be a good book for you but this just wasn't the book for me. I also read Landline by Rainbow Rowell. I won this in a Goodreads giveaway so I read it right away and I will have a video for this closer to when the book is actually released so you guys can look forward to that in July. Then I finished the giant beast that is The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss which is the second book in the King Killer Chronicles series. I believe it's what it's called. The first book is The Nem of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss and I did a review on that book on my channel so I will leave a link for that if you guys are interested interested in checking it out. I love the series. I did this as a buddy read with Read Susie Read and Christy from One Book More. I will have links to their channels down below and I think we're going to do something related to this either individual videos or you know a hangout or something related to that once all of us are done. I think Susie has a little bit more than like halfway to go in the book still so once she finishes it up we will have content for that hopefully in July. But my quick thoughts on it is I absolutely loved it. I think this series is great and I can't wait for the novella that's coming out this fall. And then the final book that I read this month was The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith aka JK Rowling. I will be doing a full review on that this Thursday so you guys can look forward to that. Just general thoughts, I liked it. I actually like this more than The Cuckoo's Calling and I'll be going into more details again in my review video but I definitely like this book so if you like The Cuckoo's Calling but were like absolutely blown away by it then I think you will like this a little bit more because that's how I felt about the Cuckoo's Calling and I read this one and I was like this is a definitely a stronger book in terms of a mystery and things like that. And then in terms of comics the only comic that I read this month was Lumberjanes issue number three. I adore it. I just love the series. I can't stop saying how much I adore this series. I highly recommend checking this out if you are interested in it. And now for the things that I purchased this month going on a similar vein in terms of comics I also picked up The Wicked and the Divine issue one which I haven't read yet but I will be reading like tonight so I won't have full thoughts on this for this video but I'll put a little annotation or something letting you know if I've read it in time. But this is a new comic book series that absolutely caught my eye. The cover is just like so beautiful like I don't understand how you could walk past this and not pick it up. Um, the art styling inside is very similar to 
the way most comics are in terms of like superhero comics and things like that. So if you like that style, you'll probably like this style of art as well. Um, like I said, I haven't read it yet, so I can't give you too much information about how much I will or won't like it. But based on the synopsis and what I'm hearing, this is a really good series to check out. The general synopsis is that every 90 years, 12 gods are reincarnated as humans. And I believe that every time they're reincarnated, they come in as like really big deals. So they're like very famous and very well known. And in their modern incarnation, they become pop stars. And then I believe that in two years, they all will be dead. So it's just sort of following their lives as they are reincarnated into their new form as pop stars, which I think will be a very interesting take in terms of idolization and the way we treat people who are famous and things like that. And then earlier this month I went to Chicago's Printers Row Lit Fest which is our annual book festival that happens downtown that's hosted by the Chicago Tribune's Printers Row. And I went and saw Christina Henriquez who wrote the book of Unknown Americans and I also saw Gabrielle Zevin there. But on the panel with Christina Henriquez was this author named Luann Rice who I had never heard of before but has apparently published like 30 books. And she was on this panel with her and another author that I cannot remember right now but they've all written books about the immigrant experience and especially Mexican Americans coming to America and so the book that Luann Rice wrote sounded really interesting so I decided to pick it up and it's called The Lemon Orchard. It's a fictional story that follows a Mexican American immigrant who works in a lemon orchard obviously but I believe that the story is loosely based on some conversations that Luann Rice had with one of her own gardeners. The experiences are supposed to be like more realistic and very uh, true to what some immigrants go through coming to America and things like that. So I'm very excited to read this, especially after reading the Book of Unknown Americans. I'm very interested in this world and just this idea of the difficulties that Mexicans go through to try to come to America. I also just wandered through the different booths that they had set up for the different bookstores and I found this edition of Brave New World by Algis Huxley, which I've never actually read before. I thought I read this in high school, but it turns out I didn't. So I found this and it was on sale, so I decided to pick it up. Up, especially because I like this edition of it. I also picked up Akata Witch by Nandi Okorafor. I don't know how to say that name, I apologize. Um, this is a middle grade fantasy book that I was hearing a lot about on like Tumblr and a couple of uh, bloggers that I follow on Twitter and things like that. This came out I think in 2012, but it follows a young girl who is from America. Uh, she's black, but she's from America or was born in America and then she moves to Nigeria. She is an albino African American and she also has a lot of trouble in the sun. She really likes sports and things like that, but she can't play any sports. And then she finds out why she has all of these conditions and can't really go out in the sun. So I believe she's a witch or something along those lines. Like I said, it's a fantasy middle grade novel. So I'm kind of excited to read this because it sounds super interesting. It was one of those books where I believe I saw it on like We Need Diverse Books Tumblr or something like that where it was like, if you like Harry Potter, you'll probably like this. And then I also got a copy of Land of Love and Drowning by Tiffany and Neek. Another name that I completely butchered. This book actually comes out in July and I got this copy from Rebecca Shinsky at Book Riot and I don't know a lot about it again because it's coming out in July so there isn't a lot of information out but it takes place in the early 1900s in the Caribbean. I believe it spans from like the early 1900s to like mid 1900s because you're following multiple generations of uh, people in a family that are living in the Caribbean that's about all I've got. But yeah, Rebecca put this as one of her favorite books that she read, I believe, in one of like the monthly wrap-ups that Book Riot does. So I saw it on there and I already had it on my wish list, so I was super excited to be able to get this copy. And then the final book I got this month is actually going to be an unboxing or unwrapping. It's a like paper package. I already know what it is. I ordered this from Book Outlet. It was another book that I heard about through Book Riot. I think Rebecca mentioned this book in the Book Riot podcast where they they did their moms, dads, and grads recommendations episode. Um, so they talked about this book and I will show you what it is. I can open it. There we go. So this is Cinnamon and Gunpowder by Eli Brown. This cover is kind of gorgeous. I didn't realize this blue was going to be so pretty. 
Um, anyways, this book follows a chef who is kidnapped by pirates, and so there is this red-headed lady pirate who goes to save him, or something along those lines. All I really remember about this book is that Rebecca raved about it on the podcast and just talked about how it had a red-headed lady pirate, so, you know, I was in. And this was on sale on Book Outlet. It might still be available on Book Outlet if you're interested. It was only, like, $6 or something for this. So I bought it when I saw it because I already, again, had this on my wish list and when I see stuff like that on book outlet I couldn't resist. So yeah that is everything I picked up this month. If you have read any of the books that I have recently hauled feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know if you liked them or didn't like them or if you want me to read them right away because they were the absolute best things ever or if you are interested in any of these books and want to see reviews on them sooner rather than later let me know as well because I sometimes do prioritize my reading based on what I know you guys are interested in seeing. Also let me know how your reading went in June. Did you read what you wanted to read? how are the books what was the best thing that you read this month anything that you really want to share about your reading so far this month so yeah that's all i have for now thanks for watching